Hey, what's up everybody? NEXT here, and today we are visiting Coral Castle in Homestead, Florida. This will be a departure from my usual videos because I'll be relying on footage from about five years ago when it was originally recorded as a live Facebook post. It's taken directly from my Facebook page, and of course, Facebook reduces video quality to fit their platform. So the quality is not the same as if I was in the field shooting 4K. I'm only using a selfie lens here on a live post, but I wanted to get it up here on YouTube for you as I'm preparing to assemble and organize my footage for my Ancient America playlist on this channel. And while Coral Castle isn't exactly Ancient America, it does play a significant role as the builder of Coral Castle, Edward Lead Skalnin, claimed to know the secrets of the pyramid builders of ancient Egypt. And while Ed left us his coral complex, said to be built mostly during the night, he evaded questions on how it was actually achieved, often speaking in riddles. For example, Ed would say, it's not difficult if you know. This has led many people to speculate on how one man lifted, carved, and moved heavy megalithic stones. Now pictures and video from the past show Ed using his tripod, but that doesn't sufficiently explain all of our unanswered questions. Many of those, especially here on YouTube, that have tried to explain it all away, but none have explained it all conclusively. In addition to several published pamphlets and an expressed interest in magnetism, Ed took his secrets to the grave. Now, we do know that he came from a long line of stonemasons. His grandfather owned a cemetery tombstone business. And so one has to question, was there a preserved uh, heritage or a legacy? Uh, could there be this preserved trade secrets or knowledge of stonemasons that could go back in antiquity? Keep in mind, Ed was from Latvia. Now, I will be featuring some incredible footage from Cahokia and Serpent Mound and other often overlooked sites that I have investigated in person. But today, we visit not only inside Coral Castle, but I bring you to Edward Lead Skalnin's grave. These are the records that I obtained from Miami Memorial Park, the cemetery in which Ed was buried. You can see the plan here. His name is actually misspelled as Colman instead of Edward Lead Skalnin. And the point of this was to investigate further because we know that masons are often buried together in cemeteries or often show emblems that would identify them and the craft. And so I wanted to look for signs. Interestingly enough, Ed was not buried in the Masonic section of the cemetery. Now, how one man cut stone from the quarry lifted and moved these enormous megalithic stones carved from limestone formed from coral and designed them into a love story in stone remains somewhat of a mystery so let's get into the footage and have a look inside coral castle and at edward Leeds scotland's grave hey what's up everybody so we're just getting back now to the states after a week journeying through the Yucatan, our Mysteries of the Maya trip. Adept Initiate's first ever community adventure was a huge success. Uh, looking forward to doing more of those and adding some more locations soon. We have a lot of plans for that. You can learn more at adeptexpeditions.com. But today, Karina and I are here. This is my fourth time now visiting Coral Castle in Homestead, Florida. Uh, Adept Initiates, Adept Expeditions, Ancient Egypt Mystery Schools, all my works, movements, organizations that I've created and have been working on for a while are all byproducts of my overarching entity, which is unusual accomplishment. And so, um, you know, many of you know me from the music industry. I've over 20 years working in the music industry. I did a lot with Amalgam Digital, but when I decided to leave all of that behind and, uh, I retired as the CEO of Amalgam Digital. I kind of got back in this space of um, channeling my artistic energy through my projects and really going where my passion is now, which is uh, really what I've been fascinated with my whole life, which is exploring the human history story, piecing together these you know mysteries of our past and exploring the mystery traditions. And so I started unusual accomplishment, oh, I don't know about, 
four or five years ago, I want to say. Actually, it's probably closer to a half a decade now. Um, actually, closer to about, I want to say, seven, eight years. I'll have to go back and check. But it was inspired by Coral Castle, which is an amazing structure here in Homestead, Florida. Uh, by now, I hope most of you are already familiar with it. If you're not, it's definitely worth looking into. It's a fascinating place right here in the United States. You know, often people want to see mysteries and go to these ancient ruins in you know Mexico, Egypt, Peru, but we have some fascinating structures right here in the U.S. You have Cahokia Mound, Serpent Mound, and of course Coral Castle, which has been a huge inspiration in what I do. It's something I've been studying and researching for years. Um, I don't make this stuff up. You guys can go back in my timeline and see me 2008, 2009, 2010 visits to Coral Castle. In fact, uh, I started researching Coral Castle before I even grew the dreadlocks. So you can see how much time I put into this. And so we're here today and I'm really excited because it's my first time back in years and I've actually acquired a lot more information. When I came here, I knew it had a lot of different celestial alignments. There's actually a lot of uh, codes here in, in the overall placement of the structure. And, um, you know, the interesting magnetic properties, of course, is, as you know, if you've been following the work of Edward Leeds Scallon and Coral Castle. So Karina and I are going to go in and investigate. Again, I'm very excited to be here again today because this is, I want to say, last time I was here was maybe three, four years ago. Uh, and, and actually, that's, I started an unusual accomplishment because I was going to, uh, I had started writing a film, a screenplay about Edward Leeds Scallon. And I started doing all these other projects as a way to uh, slowly build up to that. So here we are. If you're in Florida, come check us out. See you guys when we get back. I got tons of videos, so many videos, so many blog articles to write. I wanted to get the Adept Expedition out of the way first so I could stop bringing this stuff to you guys. So thanks for checking out my, uh, thanks for following my work and supporting everything we do. And be sure to check out my YouTube channel because I'm gonna be posting a lot more video content, youtube.com forward slash N-E-X-T. Some of Ed's heavy tools. Over here, we get a selfie by Ed. Here's his face. A lot of Masonic symbolism here. We got the Eastern Star. It's blocked by the tree. The Eastern Star right there. Polaris. There's the obelisk. What? Here's the heart-shaped table that he designed for his Sweet 16 Agnes. Here's his bedroom. Two beds. Bath. Yeah. door that's no longer functional. castle so it took a bit of work to locate this site did some research online and finally made it here to the cemetery at memorial plan park had to go in and do the research at the main office spent about 20 minutes it's unfortunate nobody even really knew who this guy was i was trying to locate edward lead scale uh edward lead some people say lead, lead, scale, skull. It's probably Edward Lead Skullnin would probably be the uh, proper way of pronouncing it. He's the uh, immigrant from Latvia who came here to the States, actually first went to Canada, then went to Oregon, and from there found his way down to Florida where he uh, built what he called Rockgate Park. 
before moving Rock, Rockgate Park to its new location. It was later called Coral Castle. Uh, it was titled Coral Castle actually two years after he had passed away. So to pay homage to him, we're just going to call it Rockgate Park. So we're here with the builder of Rockgate Park, uh, Edward Leeds Skalman. Um, like I said, it took a bit to find it, but we wanted to come here to pay homage. And so I want to show you guys the grave here. Green is just clearing, clearing some of it away. Here's the paperwork. And here he is. We're now standing above ground where Edward Leeds Skalman would be buried, or is buried. Creator of Coral Castle. This is probably really uh, perhaps a disservice to him as Ed had called this Rock Gate Park. And it was paying homage to his sweet 16, Agnes, who had jilted him or left him at the altar. They were going to get married in Latvia, broke his heart, decided to move here to the States, where he went on to build the amazing megalithic monumental rock gate park with all its celestial alignments and uh yeah wow edward lead Skalnin. so let's all wish ed the senate some positive energy He's a really uh, short man in stature. You can see the distance here. I mean, obviously this gives no indication how tall he was. There's some controversy around that because the people at Coral Castle tell you he's five feet tall. Uh, and they, they use that, make a, sort of a big deal about it, say, stating that how could a man only five feet tall build this? However, researchers have dug in a dip, bit more and discovered that he was actually about five, six or five, seven. Um, I haven't totally verified it for myself yet, so take this with a grain of salt. But from the research I've done, it does appear to be that he was probably about 5'7 in height. Regardless, 5 feet, 5'7, what does it matter? This small, frail, ill man, he had tuberculosis for several decades, managed to uh, do something so amazing, an unusual accomplishment and he claimed to have known the secrets of the pyramid builders. He had come from a lineage, a family of stonemasons. Now there's a lot of speculation that suggests he was a Freemason himself. However, I haven't seen the hard data. I'm sure uh, Freemasons out there, uh, researchers and Freemasons should have the documentation for this. I'm not certain. I ha I've never seen the hard data to prove it. But I will say, interestingly enough, uh, you enter Coral Castle from the west and then you find the main carvings on the east. And this is reminiscent of what we would see in a Masonic Lodge. But again, uh, I, I haven't for myself come across any hard evidence uh, to prove that he was a Freemason, but undoubtedly a master Mason, a master uh, stone Mason by definition. So for those of you who are interested in Coral Castle, maybe you're not in a position to make it here. This is as close as I can get you. Send some love to our boy Ed. An unusual accomplishment. Thank you for watching everyone. I do plan on making a follow-up video that will go into more detail explaining the symbolism encoded at Coral Castle, as well as creating my Ancient America playlist. So you'll want to be looking out for that in the future. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a like, leave a comment below, and please subscribe. Until next time, this is NEXT for AdeptExpeditions.com, signing off.